What's up, everybody? Jason here with jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bowman Chrome, 2019, new release day on this Wednesday. Uh, Hobby, 12-box case break. Pick your team's number two. So we are giving away $100 in break rate in each of our pick your team breaks, it looks like. So the way to be entered, all you had to do is buy two teams in this break and get entered to win. So one entry, uh, two teams equals one entry. You buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get three entries, etc. So for every two teams, you get one entry. At the end of the break, we'll do the randomizer here for the customers in this break. And we'll alphabetize it to see how many customers have how many teams. So this is Hobby Pikachu number two. There you go. I don't know who got Last Bomb Mojo, honestly. There, there was no little uh, little star next to the name. So I guess everybody has Last Bomb Mojo, I guess. It's up for grabs. All right. So let's open up the case. And again, guys, uh, you know, I'll try to take my time as quick as much as possible. But of course, you know, we kind of just go through the hits, stop for the number cards, the hits, and then kind of just go through the base. I believe everything ships, is from what I was told. So, a little poster. Um, so, in case I were to miss anything, the sorting team will definitely ship everything out to you guys. And as we speak. Pick your team number one is already getting sorted out, so it'll be sorted out rather quickly, guys. All right. So here you go, guys. Tons and tons of boxes, of course. There you go. So I'm going to go through a handful of boxes, of course. I rip through four boxes at a time or so. Kind of get the break going a little quicker. And again, just like in Pikachu number one, guys, just to let you guys know, they are working on our roof. So the banging's a little, little light right now. I don't want to jinx it, but it's a little light right now. So if you do hear loud banging noises, you know, I suggest maybe kind of lowering your volume on your side. Kind of just watching the break. But I did lower down my mic just a little bit because I know our microphones kind of pick up everything. But if it does get a extremely loud, I'll try to have it as low as possible. But for the most part, uh, it doesn't sound too bad right now. They're supposed to be here, I think, till 2 or 3. So I think by the time Joe gets here, it shouldn't be a big problem. All right, so you get one autograph in each mini box, two autographs in one box, master box at least. So we'll open up four boxes at a time. This break usually is going to take me around 40 minutes, so. A little bit of a longer break. Good luck if you are in this break. This is pick your team number two. open up these four boxes <laughs> it's a uh, it's definitely one of a kind obviously one of one everybody's gonna have their own opinions on it though how much the pricing is but honestly it's priceless to me but like John says for the for the right price in his mind he'll definitely let it go but like you said he's not in a rush which is good you know Enjoy it, right? Even though it's locked up very safely, which is good. Enjoy it, yeah. If I, if I were you, John, I'd wake up every morning looking at that photo. Like, I'd have that photo on my roof. I mean, on the top of my ceiling. 
<laughs> and just kind of just like admiring it, you know. But yeah, at the end of the day, whatever John wants to get rid of it for, if he does, to reinvest in whatever it is, he'll definitely do it. Honestly, I think um, something like that that's already gotten a lot of publicity. There are places that there are places that make custom framing and custom holders for cards. So you you could display that. You just got to find the right person. And honestly, I mean, you know, like I said, John contacted us, and I think Blastman Mike's gonna kind of try to get in contact with somebody he knows. He's very big in the industry, so he knows a lot of people. But honestly, I. I wouldn't see why Beckett wouldn't want to just grade it. Or at least putting it in a slab, you know? It's p good publicity for them, and at the same time, it keeps the card nice and pure, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, I guess it's just more like, it's safe now. Obviously, John has no rush, so he can work out. If he wants to buy a display, or a custom display, or get it slabbed, whatever it is. But, there'll be definitely people out there that would definitely would love to do it. It's just finding the right person, right place, right company. <laughs> Johnny, watch it two, three times a day. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Definitely gotta enjoy that. Yeah, so there you go. So John says that you know his son and his uh, his son and himself, you know, P PC mantle. So yeah, if you sold it, it definitely go to some stuff that they don't have, which is great. You know, it's something else to reinvest into something that's never gonna drop in value. You know what I mean? And not that this 50 booklet would ever drop a value I don't think it ever will it might only increase kind of like a mantle especially if it's kept for a very long time you know. there's nothing else like it and that's the one thing I'm so curious now did luminaries last year have a booklet like that and, and is it really still sitting in a case somewhere you know or is it actually sitting in someone's house you know what I mean or someone's bank, like John, right? And just, but we never got to see it. And that's the beauty of, of it all is that we were very fortunate enough to pull it for John, but also pull it in a break online, which is even better. So, I'm just curious if, like, that can't be the only 50 booklet out there that they've ever created. There has to be more, but I guess we're never gonna know. <laughs> You know, or was this really the first year they decided to try a 50 player booklet? All right, good luck, guys. First box we have Mateo Athletics to 150, Astadio for the Twins rookie autograph. Four ninety nine judge. Prado. And for Texas, Tyler Phillips. Oh yeah, there's not exactly what Edward said. There's no rush. If you have uh, that means to PC mantle. Duplantier. Yeah, I believe last year they had the 10 auto booklet. But does that mean, is there like a 10 auto booklet in this one now? Two as well, besides the 50, or was there only the 50? I honestly didn't even bother to check the checklist, obviously. And so did Joe, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even bother to check that, because who would have thought that this was actually, would even be in there? Like, is it actually in the checklist? Has anybody actually looked it up since then? Or is it is it kind of like an Easter egg? It, it just had it in there, but it wasn't in the checklist. Uh, Santelan, 250. 
He's looking at the blog website and the amount of cases that I have for sale. Just think of, oh yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, unless someone tracks them and knows that they're out of stock or there's no more available, there's a lot of cards hiding in a lot of cases, right? Luis Garcia to 4.99. There's a lot of uh, cases that have goodies hiding, right? But it's just the risk you're gonna take, right? But John just said right now. This year has the Hit Kings Auto as well with 40. Oh, okay. So even better. Another one's out there similar to that. Kyle Wright. Oh, Garcia's a nice hit in this. Nice. That's uh, for the Phillies. D Mac with that one. Yeah, you guys can help me out as well and let me know who the big prospects are. I just found out the Yankees prospect is a big one that we hit in the first case. Of course, we hit a nice Vlad Gold to 50 as well. Uh, Miller for the Padres. Oh, okay. So, that, so it wasn't a checklist. But then it says the greatest book card, one of one, suppliers. 30 signatures on one card? Well, I don't know about that. 50 signatures sounds pretty good. Maybe the 30 greatest book card is probably like literally like Hall of Fame legends instead of like just a mixture of rookies and vets and Hall of Famers, maybe. Uh, Gilman to 4 99 Oliva, Jared, Pirates. Arizona Fall League. Naylor, Bo Naylor to 99. Cleveland Indians. And Luis Gil, Gil, Bowman's first for the Yankees. Danny with the Yankees. Three boxes down. Let's go with the next box. To 150, Andres uh, Jimenez. That's Arizona Fall League, but that's New York Mets. To 499, Geraldo. Pirates. And Minnesota Twins, Durand. Bowman's first. Four ninety nine, Johan Moncada. And we got Jonathan Aurelianos, Texas Rangers. That is Josh Proust with the Rangers. All righty, guys. So remember guys, they are working on the roofs in our building right here, our store. So you may hear a little banging noise. Hopefully it's not too loud, but if it does get a little too loud, um, you know, maybe try lowering your volume down on your side. And I kind of did already lower down my mic, um, but I know it picks up on a lot of things around. So hopefully it's not too shabby, not too much, but it should be done by the time Joe gets here. So. Should be a problem when Joe's streaming from three to ten. So, if 
forgot, you know, obviously they were going to come today, but that's all good. As long as you pull the big hits, that's all that matters. Not a lot of big graves in this one, but there are some really cool so uh, sounding ones that would be hard to hit. Oh, really? Okay. Alright guys, so the break schedule is pretty much after this pick your team number two, I'm going to go to number three. Um, and then after number three, I'm going to go to random hit number one of Flawless. I know number two sold out, but we'll go random hit number one and then actually go through a couple personal boxes that have sold out. Do those really quick. And then um, I think random teams number two sold out, random hit number two of Flawless sold out. And, of course, up until 2 o'clock, I'll be breaking. And then once 2 o'clock comes, Joe should be here. And then he'll take over breaking for the rest of the night. So, just continue to sell, sell, sell. We're going to be breaking pretty much for 12 hours. So, keep getting your orders in. So, I should be done with this break probably in about 15, 20 minutes. Then get the next break done by 12. So, we'll stop with another two solid hours of breaking. So, we can probably fit in. You know, another Bowman Chrome Hobby, HTA, another flawless break, maybe a full case or one one brief case break of uh, pick your teams, or even an XR break as well. I know people are asking for XR, so XR is going to be kind of a longer break as well too, with 15 boxes, so that might take 45 minutes. And I'll be here just for a little bit as well. To help pack stack for Joe to even, to make it even quicker as well. So, yeah, XR has always been pretty fun. I, I liked it when they released it a couple years back, and uh, really nice patches and opportunities for nice one-on-one -on -one shield autographs too. So XR XR is fun. And it's 15 boxes, so lots and lots of hits in that product. Of course, some of these rookies, especially rookie receivers like Marquise Brown, Terry McLaurin, the running backs as well are doing well. Quarterbacks, I mean, Gardner Minshew wasn't even in the last product, and he's a starter now. Daniel Jones is starting now. Kyler Murray is a starter. You know, so... It's uh, shaping up to be a pretty good draft class, even though people thought it'd be a down year. And of course, you have opportunities for second year vets, Hall of Fame autographs, and XR. And same thing with Flawless Collegiate, you know. You'll have a chance at all those players as well, I'm assuming. Nice. Yeah, even their receiver too. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Nico Harmon Jr. I mean, he's even balling out early on. Good, good receiver class, really. I like that Terry McLaurin though for the Redskins. I feel like Redskins don't really have a number one receiver, and he's definitely shaping up to be it. Or at least he has a connection with Case Keenum. Also, Case Keenum hasn't looked too bad either. No, it's a baseball break, but. But obviously we know Dwayne Hashkins is just kind of lurking behind, waiting for his time.
Hey, that's true. Right? I didn't pull any redemptions in the first break. Honestly, Bill, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> uh, Bowman Chrome usually has a lot of Bowman's first prospects. And there's a couple of them that, you know, customers are telling me. But, of course, you still have the rookie cards in here, so. I mean, you still have Vlad in here, you know, Pete Alonzo. But I have no idea too much on the prospects. I know Yankees have a big prospect. But, yeah, I wish I could tell you more. <laughs> but you still have your rookies as well. And then some rookies that didn't autograph, like this guy. I think this guy's a big one, Garcia. Bowman's first for the Yankees. I think he's their number one prospect. You still have, obviously, uh, you know, some rookies that didn't autograph in Bowman baseball that are autographing in here, and vice versa. But definitely when Joe gets here, you know, I'm sure he'll be able to tell you more if you're still... Just wanting to know more. Hernandez. For the Royals. Yeah, a lot of Yankees are coming out so far, right, EA? That's what I'm saying. Four ninety nine, Carbon Burns. Next box. Khalil Lee. I was about to say, Rory, I seen the Corbin Burns hit. I'm like, I was trying to think of the rookie that I know you want to chase. And I'm like, that's not that's not Corbin Burns. And now you just popped in and now you said it. Yeah. Keystone. Keystone Uri Huria, right? I think it is. To 499. Another Yankee to 499 refractor gill. Justice Sheffield. This looks like a this looks a little different from his regular ones. Maybe it's a variation or something. I don't think I've seen him. Looking like that. I think he's like pitching, isn't he? This one looks like he's just standing on the mound. So that might be a little variation. Yeah, there you go. That's an image variation. I noticed it right away because I'm like, I've already seen so many of him in the first case. It looks a little bit like a variation. Feltner for the Rockies. So yeah, there you go, Seattle. Seattle Mariners, that was uh, uh, Kai Hang. And then Colorado Rockies, EA. Next box. So four ninety nine Morales. Phillies. So one fifty blue. Polkington. Who am I chasing for EA so I can have that that stuck in my head? Abreu, Brian Abreu for the Astros. Is what's his name this year a rookie still? Is, I can't believe it. Is, is what's his name a rookie for the Rockies now? Finally, Rogers is he still? Is he a rookie in this class? And Rogers has been around for a while. Paul DeJong, four ninety Oh, Vavara? Okay. And wow, look at that. Geraldo. Bowman's first gold for the Toronto Blue Jays. Nice. Kyle. With the Blue Jays. Got yourself a uh, nice Vlad in the first hobby case. That was awesome. 250 Dansby Swanson.
Alright, next box. Oh, we got a red. Wow, these reds are not out of five anymore? Hans Krauss. Oh, this is a shimmer, so maybe it's a little different. Nine out of ten for Texas. Josh Proust with Texas. And we got for the Reds. Bowman Chrome autograph. David Aguilar. Four ninety nine, Warner, San Luis Cardinals, and we got McKenna for the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Daniel with that one. All right, everybody, the last four boxes. Do the Braves just not have any prospects right now that are worthy enough to be in this year? Or are they holding out on some prospects? Or maybe their prospects were really pretty much in Bowman baseball? Because I know sometimes, autograph-wise, they kind of pick and choose some some prospects and rookies to feature in each one. So, It's an interesting process, though, because sometimes they'll hold off certain prospects for certain products or certain years, too, you know. It all has to be strategically, uh, you know, like, mapped out, so that way kind of helps the hobby out, in a way. Either that or they just couldn't get them to sign, so they just didn't uh, produce their cards. And I think the next Bowman like baseball br br uh, product that'll come out soon in a couple months, probably around the holidays, is going to be a Bowman draft, which is always a very popular one too. Yeah, no, for sure, yeah. Alright, I guess. Last four boxes. Remember, this is a uh, 12 box hobby. Pick your team's number two. Yeah, see, there you go. It's usually, around, it's usually in December. As I said, around the holiday time, so. That's usually a very popular one. That one is pretty much all prospects. So that should be uh, another one like this where we'll probably do like an all day thing.
What uh, Marte is uh, for what? Uh, Mariners? Is that for the Mariners? Hopefully, man. I would like to. Nice. Yeah, man. We'll have my extra mojo at least while I'm breaking. I might only get to maybe Hobby 3 or maybe Hobby 4 if it sells out before Joe gets here. But Joe will probably do the rest tonight and tomorrow and for the rest of the week. So if I can't deliver, hopefully Joe delivers. As long as one of us does. Alrighty guys, good luck. Last four boxes of Pick Your Team number two hobby. Oh. We got Star Tracker, Hans Kraus to 150 for Texas. A little like Atomic Refractor. And we got Augustine to 250. Bowman's first. Washington Nationals. Down you want that one. We got a 150 Buster Posey. Giants. You got uh, Perdomo. It's 99 for the D-backs. <laughs> and Klofstein. Bowman Chrome Relics are only in HTA? Like the Jersey autographs? We pulled one here in Hobby. You mean just the flat relics, no autographs? We pulled a auto. Usually, Bowman Crumb has one auto relic in a case, but maybe not this one. But we pulled one in the first hobby. I don't think they're guaranteed. Maybe, maybe in HTA they are guaranteed. Four ninety nine Garcia. And Bork. Washington Nationals. Two fifty, Tommy Wilson, Mets. And for the Yankees, Nick Green to two fifty. 
purple. <laughs> that uh, nice orange to 25, bragging at Houston. That Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC commercial with Rudy, or not the real Rudy, but the actor Rudy. <laughs> Forget his name, kid from the Goonies. It's really funny, actually. Nice, out of 50, Corey Ray. Gold for Milwaukee. Come on, Keiston, where are you at? Toro. Houston Astros. It's four ninety nine, Maryfield. I know I hope I pull a super for one of you guys before I stop breaking. If not, I guess Joe might be pulling the supers. Corbin Martin. Astros. And for the Dodgers. Yusela. First time seeing a Dodger auto. Andrew. Two fifty, Miguel Cabrera. All right, last box, everybody. Good luck. A little shimmer. Admin. Gold for the Cubs. Javier. Houston Astros. Bowman's first. All right, guys, one more autograph. Good luck, everybody. 250, Manny Machado, San Diego Padres. And we got Seth Beer. Seth Beer me. <laughs> Jeremy tell me with the Astros. Sorry about that guys. That's four ninety nine Brandon Lowe for the Rays. Is that a good player, Travis? Alrighty guys, and there you go. So let's do a little quick hit recap video. These are just the numbered cards. Uh, Brandon Lowe to 499. Machado to 250. 50 admin for the uh, Cubs. Cabrera Detroit to 250. Martin Astros to 499. Merrifield, Kansas City. Gold Ray for Milwaukee. Bregman Orange for Astros. Wilson for the Mets. Purple. Garcia to 499 refractor for the Yankees. Perdomo for the D-backs. Posey. For the Giants, a little atomic to 150 prospects, uh, stat tracker. Sorry, for the uh, Texas Rangers, Warner for the Cardinals, a little red shimmer, cross for Texas, Swanson to 250 for the Braves, Dijon, Pillington for the White Sox, Phillies, Morales, Sheffield, uh, Mariners, Burns, Milwaukee, King, Yankees, Moncada, Sox, Hildalo. Uh, Blue Jays, Geminis for the, uh, I believe that's Mets, Naylor, Yankees, Kyle Wright for the eight, uh, Braves, sorry, Chris Davis, Reds, Canning for the Angels, Plantier for the D-backs, Judge, Refractor to 499 for the Yankees, and Mateo for the Oakland Athletics. So there's the numbered cards. And here were the autographs. So, Beer, Astros. Javier, Astros. Yuseta, Dodgers. 
Toro Astros, Green Yankees to one fifth or two fifty, Bork Nationals, Hofstein Blue Jays, Augustine Nationals, uh, O's McKenna, uh, Mike S. <laughs> so what is it? Sani, Sani for the Reds, uh, Gold Geraldo, Bowman's first for the Blue Jays, Abreu Astros, a lot of Astros in this. Rockies Feltner. Gill for the Yankees. Lee. Oh, that's just a refractor, actually. Uh, Hernandez. KC. Yankees. Garcia. Uh, Oralnias. Rangers. Duran. Twins. Jill again for the Yankees. Oliva. Pirates. Miller. Padres. Garcia. Phillies. Uh, Phillips. Rangers. And Astudio for the Twins. So there you go, guys. This is Bowman Chrome Hobby Pikachu number two. Now let's switch scenes, and we're going to give away $100 in break credit. If you bought two teams, you get one entry. If you bought four teams, you get two. And if you bought six teams, you get three entries. So this is PYT2. And let's see. Andrew, Brian, Conrad, you had two. Let's put that there. Daniel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. Just missed it to get four spots. So we got three, though. All right. Sorry. Yeah. D Mac, you got two. It's one entry. David, you had two. If you had four teams, you get two entries. EA, you had two. You get one entry. James Brand, Jeremy Tillman, Josh Bruce, you had two. Chan, you had one. Kyle, Martin, Robert, Throne, Rory, Rex. All right. So here you go. Is this? Let's get a new dice roll and a new list. All right, customer number one gets hundred dollars in break credit after two and a six eight times again. Wow. Okay, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go. Eight times. David Aguilar, there you go. Hundred dollars in break credit coming your way. So there you go, guys. Bowman Chrome Hobby Pikachu number two coming up next, number three. Appreciate it, guys.